Looking to make your maps a little more exciting with some pose characters. Today, we're gonna teach you how to do that with the physics tool and pins in Source 2. All right, now I like to start with my basic template. Then I threw a bathtub in because I personally want to recreate the zombie in a bathtub scene. Now you want to go down into your models and search for an NPC. Now I prefer to search here because then it doesn't have any of the kind of crazy functionality. It's basically just a model. Now I've found some models do not work with the physics tool. Other models do. The newer ones seem to work really well. The zombie works fine. So grab your zombie, pull it into the world. Now you can rotate it. You can start this off. You can do whatever you want at first to kind of get it into position but once you start the physics tool that's when the game changes you click that button and then boom look your zombie is basically in the tub but this is not exactly how we want to do it and you probably want him change a little bit too now how do you get that pinpoint accuracy well you drop a pin. Yes, that's all we really have to do. And you can drop as many pins as you want. You can move them around. I definitely suggest making the grid size a bit smaller so you have more control over where these pins are moving. But really, that's it. You put them in, you drag them around, you place them, and there you go. Your model is placed in the world. And you can place these things all over your map to make your spooky, scary looking dungeon even scarier. Hopefully that helps. My name's Frank. This is The Game Show. We'll see you again soon.